Welcome to today's podcast, entitled Life's Burdens. Oftentimes, we face problems and burdens in life that cause us to worry. Not rightly handled, they can deprive us from having peace of mind and even lead to a physical and emotional illness. Yes, as long as we live, there will be burdens and problems in life. Only those who are in the grave escape them. But it's one thing having problems and burdens, but it's another thing in handling them. So, how should we handle life's problems and burdens? Let's look at the story of King Hezekiah. King Hezekiah ruled at a time when the land of Israel was divided into northern and southern kingdoms. These were called Israel and Judah. King Hezekiah ruled over Judah. At this time, the northern kingdom of Israel had already been destroyed. The powerful empire of the Assyrians had conquered the land and dispersed its people. This same empire and king now set his eyes against Judah. Surrounded by enemies of thousands and thousands of ruthless Assyrians with the most advanced weapons, Hezekiah had nowhere to go. So what did he do? Hezekiah went up to the house of the Lord and prayed before the Lord our God. He said, O Lord our God, save us please from the hands of the Assyrians that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that you, our Lord, are our God alone. Then God sent the prophet Isaiah to assure the king that he had heard his prayer. And that night the angel of the Lord went out and struck down 185,000 in the camp of the Assyrians. How do we cope with problems, pressures and stresses? Few of us find sympathy in the workplace. We try the escape of high-tech entertainment, but often emerge depressed and bored. Some people turn to alcohol or drugs in order to deal with their problems. Where can we turn? Who is listening? Who can explain the loneliness, depression, disappointment, boredom, discouragement, mental and emotional tiredness that makes so many people just want to give up? Many have considered taking their own lives as a solution to life's problems. But is this really the answer? Are we looking in the wrong places? Is alcohol, drugs or suicide really the answer to our problems in life or is there a better way? When King Hezekiah was facing huge problems, what did he do? He went up to the house of God and prayed. The king laid out his specific problem to the Lord, communicated with him in prayer and entrusted everything to him. In Matthew chapter 11 verse 28, Jesus gives us a promise for our journey through life. He says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Jesus says, I want you to cast all of your worries, anxiety, fears and doubt on me so that I can carry them for you. Allow me to work for you. I will be the heavy lifter of your burdens, but only if you come to me. In Isaiah chapter 64 and verse 4, it says, For since the world began, no ear has heard and no eye has seen a God like you, 
who works for those who wait on him. There is no God like our God who will take the smallest or biggest problem we carry and carry it for us. Life will always produce a situation that will place burdens, anxiety and worries in our lives. But God is so much bigger than any of our burdens or problems in life. The solution is not to run away or give up on life, but to endure and walk through them by giving our cares to God. There may be days that we do want to run away from our problems because of all the anxiety and worry they produce, but God has given us a better way rather than running away. The way is in trusting him enough to give him our problems because we know he cares for us. Pray to him today and place your burdens on him knowing he is more than willing to carry them for us. Let's trade our sorrows for joy and place our burdens on God. He loves us and wants to work for us. Let's trust God today. May the peace and love of our God be with you all.